After enduring the struggles of a 3-7 and seven campaign in 2009, the Titans of Central Buck South have turned the page to 2010 and bring on a new head coach and a new attitude. Dave Rakavan has joined the Titans after spending the last several seasons as Princeton University's offensive coordinator, and upon his arrival, he's brought a new intensity to practice. You got to make practice so hard and competitive that the game is easy, and that's the most important thing to me is to make them understand how hard it is to win a game and how hard they have to play. Okay, if kids understand that, then you know we're going to have a chance. All right, but the only way you can do that is on the practice field. So you got to make the game easy for them, have fun at the game, and that's what we're trying to get done. He's got us working hard out here. Everyone, I think he's building everyone up to their potential, and if not, he's definitely pushing them to make sure they get there. He's not leaving any kid behind. He's pushing everyone, no matter if you're a first star, a starter, or a fourth string. He's on your back every day. For Coach Rakavan, the process of installing his offense has been helped by having returning starter Matt Johns at quarterback. When you look at, at Matt Johns, I think Matt Johns has a chance to be a real good quarterback. He's a great leader. He can make all the throws. He still makes some dumb mistakes, but they're getting fewer and fewer. And, you know, I think he has all the tools. He's got the size and all that stuff to be a, a really good quarterback. And, I'm excited about what he brings to the table. And when you have a good quarterback, you know, you know, if we have, I think, enough skill around him that uh, hopefully we can cause some problems on offense. Learning that offense has been challenging for Johns, but the junior hopes it's also very rewarding. It's a big difference. Um, there's a lot more individual work. Um, the team, it's the offense is a t whole new offense, uh, trying to get what we can out of it and uh, working really hard. With a schedule that features five of last year's District 1 playoff teams in the first six weeks, the Titans certainly do have their work cut out for them, starting with a week one matchup with Council Rock South. Reporting for WNPV, I'm Kyle Berger.